Okay, that just looks like I'm on drugs. But that is what it feels like when you are in the zone. You feel so sucked into the experience where time doesn't exist and there's no sense of self. It's just you and your work. Wait, if there's no sense of self, then who am I referring to? When you are in deep focus or in a flow, you can get way more things done. And here's how you can achieve that with neuroscience. Brain waves. Not only do we metabolize different fuels when we are asleep, but we go through different stages of brain waves. Gamma, beta, alpha, theta, and delta. Each of them is used for different purposes. For instance, beta is used for and is around, whereas alpha is used for and if you meditate, you can tap into theta wave. When you are deep asleep, you are in delta. Why am I telling you about all of these waves? Well, when you are in flow, you are in theta alpha wave. Good news is that right when you wake up, that is when you tap into it naturally. Plus, your brain is not cluttered with unnecessary noise from life yet, unless, of course, you have your notifications on. Set a timer for however long where you are only working without any distractions. It can be 25 minutes, like with the Pomodoro technique, or one and a half hours, utilizing the entire focusing part of the ultradian cycle and then taking a break. By the way, you can also use white noise or classical music to enhance your focus even further. In the morning, it might be easier for you to get in a flow state because you're already in that brain state, but what about other parts of the day? Let's take a closer look at the neurochemicals that make up flow. At the beginning, you might feel a slight agitation because of cortisol and epinephrine circulating in your system. After that hurdle, you feel like an obstacle has been overcome and you are in the groove. But after a certain amount of time, that's when you get into a flow. Everything shuts down around you and it's just you and your work. You also lose track of time because dopamine is elevated and you lose the sense of self because your prefrontal cortex is not as active anymore, relying more on your intuition. A blissful state. Like with building muscles, you want to take a break after your work bout so you can replenish. This is also shown in the ultradian cycle. The rule that I follow is 90 minute work bout and 20 to 30 minute break. But it depends on the task. More than likely I would work for 20 to 30 minutes and then take 5 to 10 minutes break. Also, don't forget the Parkinson's law. If you have your entire day just for checking emails, you will do just that. Work expands to fill the time allotted for its completion. As life would have it, it's not always the case that you are in a flow. What if you are so deeply entrenched in your work and then you need to take a shit? Do you hold it in just because you don't want to lose this amazing bliss? But you see, when you are holding it in, you feel uncomfortable and that activates your prefrontal cortex because now you are thinking of the different outcomes this holding in could lead to. The more you engage your prefrontal cortex, the less you are in a flow state. Shit. That's literally what you have to do. Just go take a shit. It's okay. This is just one example of many important things that could disrupt you from flow. What's the solution? Track your time. Do it for one week and analyze it. See which activity your time goes to on average. You can then set your work bouts accordingly. You then have a routine. Don't only track your activities, but also your energy level and productivity level because we all fall into different chronotypes. Are you a morning person or evening person? Or in between, like an afternoon person? The point is that we all function our best at different times. According to Dr. Andrew Huberman, four to six hours after your trough, trough, is that how you say it? Trough, trout? Which is two hours before your wake up time, that is one of the times that you can be productive. To be honest, I like tracking your personal energy levels more. Exercising has numerous benefits for the brain and I went into great detail in one of my videos already, but one of the components is BDNF, essentially good soup for your brain. I'm not going to tell you what you should or shouldn't eat, but looks like I'm about to anyway, so <laughs> this is what works for me. Caffeine, the most consumed drug on this planet. It affects your dopamine and epinephrine levels, being alert and feeling great. Yes, 
it helps with transitioning into flow. To further your alertness, you could fast in the morning, which elevates your epinephrine levels and taps into ketosis that helps with thinking more clearly. If you do opt for carbs in the morning, try to limit the amount of heavy hitting carbs that affect your blood sugar levels. In other words, to avoid a crash and feeling lethargic afterwards. In the afternoon, you could opt for green tea, which makes you feel calmer due to its theanine component that could lend itself to creative work since serotonin is higher in the afternoon anyway. Here again, track your energy levels. What one could also do in the afternoon is taking a nap since you are in a postprandial dip. It is biologically wired that we get a bit tired in the afternoon. Keep in mind of sleep inertia the longer you sleep. You might be feeling groggy or confused about where you are in life, how did you come here, what your name is. Embrace that confusion. After finding out what your identity is again, you can then get into a deep bout of focus again. How many bouts of work should you aim for? Set three hours as your guideline and then adapt accordingly. What's your average per week? Have plan A, B, and C. What I would recommend is taking once or twice a week off completely. Oh yeah, <laughs> don't forget to socialize as well to deploy some of that serotonin and oxytocin. They're both great for your neural network and dopamine system. One tends to forget that sometimes, guilty. You feel absolutely amazing when you are in a flow state. You can get a lot of things done, but everything is f***ed when you don't get enough sleep or qualitative sleep. Here's how you can get that. Come on, click it.